Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 583. Step into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to review how to buy silver coins because I haven't talked about this for a while and I've been getting a lot of questions and they're great questions. And I think that it would be good to update some of the older podcasts that I've done and give you a more up-to-date opinion of how to buy silver coins. So first of all, buying silver coins is really easy. And I highly recommend it because they are one of the few assets, silver is, that is, priced where it was about 50 years ago. This asset is way undervalued in my opinion and could make some significant moves higher. And seeing that we've already started the new gold bull market and gold and silver usually move in relation to each other, I think silver is the better buy here. Fortunately, it's really inexpensive, so just about anybody can afford it. The question is, where do you get it? Well, you certainly can go to your local dealer and buy coins locally. You can go on Yelp, you can Google your city and silver dealer and find someone who's reputable that lives near you. It's always good to have an expert that you can talk to, ask their opinion, take the pulse of the market and see what they think is going on with silver. So I like having a local dealer. It's also easy for you to go take possession and then take it home. And if sometime in the future you want to sell it back, well, it's real easy to go back to your dealer where you bought it and sell it back to them, hopefully at a big profit. So that would be my first choice would be to find a local dealer. But here's the problem with some local dealers is they will try to sell you a quote cheaper silver. That means they're showing you some obscure coin over here or over there saying, The country of Tambolia made this coin and this is the cheapest way to buy silver, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't agree with that. I think you should buy the predominant coin in your country. So if you're Canadian, that's the maple leaf. If you're American, that's the silver eagle. If you're from South Africa, that's the Krugerrand. If you're from Australia, that's the koala. If you're from United Kingdom, that's the sterling. So buy the predominant silver in your country or the most major silver coin nearest your country. So if you're in Asia, you might wanna buy the Chinese Panda. So buy the predominant coin, why? Because it's very marketable, it's easy to sell back, it's not some obscure coin that nobody wants, it's recognizable, it's highly traded, The margins will tend to be slimmer, meaning you won't pay a lot over the silver spot price. So I recommend that you buy the most well-known coin in your country or in your part of the world. So if you don't get it from your local dealer, what else can you do? Well, here in the States, there's a couple of reputable coin dealers online that I really like. I have no agreement with them, don't receive any compensation from them. One is SD Bullion, like Sam Dennis Bullion.com, and JM Bullion, like Jerry Michael Bullion.com, and Bullion spelled B U L L I O N. So JM Bullion or SD Bullion, these are good online sources that can sell, for example, the American Eagle. What they usually do is take the spot price of silver that day and add two to three dollars on there. They're usually buying directly from the mint. Can you buy direct from a mint? Yes, you can. So that's an option that's open to you too. Oftentimes on their website, they'll show a bid and an ask. 
you're buying the silver at the ask price and you're selling it back to them at the bid price. So that means you always buy at the higher price and sell back at the lower price. Oftentimes, they'll even offer free shipping if your order is over $99. If you've got some serious coin close to five figures, meaning roughly around eight to $10,000, you can buy today what's called a monster box. And that's 500 coins that come in a bright green box that is from the mint and usually has not been opened, hasn't been tampered with. Everything just comes directly still in its original condition. It's a way to buy a lot of volume of Silver Eagle coins. Here's some things you don't want to do. You don't want to buy your silver on eBay. Those people aren't necessarily reputable. They're not dealers. You're buying secondhand oftentimes. You don't know if the silver's been tampered with or diluted in some way or what you're really buying. So I would strongly suggest you do not buy any metals on eBay and you stick with the dealers or the mint. The second thing I recommend you do not do is don't buy silver in your IRA. If you're going to own silver, buy silver, but don't buy it in your IRA. And definitely you do not want someone else to store the silver for you. You wanna keep it in your possession. At some point when silver's price rises as much as I think it could, it might be pretty difficult to get your hands on some physical silver and you're gonna be glad that you have it in your own possession. So I really recommend that you have it in your possession. The third thing I don't suggest you do is don't buy paper gold or silver. Don't buy GLD or SLV, the ETFs that represent physical gold or silver. Why? If those contracts go into default, you have to have $10 million in order for them to give you the physical silver. Otherwise, too bad, you're out of luck. And I definitely don't wanna see that happen to you. So don't buy GLD or SLV as a substitute for physical silver. Really not a good idea. Now, even though I just said, don't pay anyone else to store your silver, there's one circumstance that I do trust to store your silver, and only one. And I'll explain why in just a minute. But it's called goldmoney.com. And if you haven't listened to my interview with James Turk, the founder of goldmoney.com, I definitely recommend that you listen to it. It was an astounding interview. And that was podcast number 94, which you can get on my website. You have to go there. It's not in iTunes because iTunes only carries the last 300 podcasts of mine. So you have to go to my website podcast page at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And it is a secure site. So it's HTTPS, make sure you have the S, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lindapjones.com, forward slash, podcasts, plural. That was a really great interview. And he talks a lot about founding goldmoney.com. What is goldmoney.com? Well, it's something that I have had my personal money in for many years. It's an online way to buy gold and silver and they store it for you and you can choose locations around the world where they can store it for you. For example, in Switzerland or the Isle of Man or in Canada or Hong Kong, etc. Different locations around the world, you can choose where you want the vault to be and they literally buy your gold or silver or whatever metals you're buying through them from the mint. They hire a Brinks truck to deliver from the mint to the vault so there's no interruption in the chain of custody of your metals. Once it's in the vault, every quarter it is audited by an independent third-party accounting firm to verify that your metal is there. This is important because companies have been known to sell the same metal to two or three or more different people. So there's been some unscrupulous people in this market and some very large brokerage firms got fined millions of dollars for doing this. So I'm very particular who I trust to store the precious metals. And that's why I only trust one company. 
and that is goldmoney.com. Again, I don't receive any compensation for recommending them. The other beautiful thing about goldmoney.com is you can liquidate the funds, you could sell your metals and have that balance transferred to your bank account and it's all done online. So you can transfer money from your bank account to your gold money account, buy your precious metals, they will store it for you. Of course, you'll pay a storage fee for having them stored for you. So you're paying a storage fee every month. And then if you wanna liquidate, you can liquidate online and transfer the money back to your bank account. Very easy to do, very easy way to store a lot of precious metals. If you wanna buy a big amount and it's too much to keep in your home, this is a great way to do it. This is more for your high net worth people that want to have a significant percentage, and I'd say anywhere from three to 10% of a high net worth portfolio might be invested in precious metals. The more the bull market gets going, the more you're going to want. That's just human nature. But right now, Prices are very, very low, and the bull market, I believe, is just getting started. So if you want to make a bigger purchase of precious metals, I recommend you use goldmoney.com to do that, but it is a more expensive way to do it because you are paying for them to be holding them in custody. So in summary, I recommend that you buy some silver coins, hold them in your possession, buy the most common ones in your part of the world, You can go to your local dealer or you can buy them online. Buy them, put them away in a safe place. Or if you have a larger portfolio, you can diversify by buying some at goldmoney.com. Again, don't buy obscure coins. Don't buy, quote, cheaper silver. Don't buy this great deal that they have for you over here. Stick to the well-known coins in your country or in your part of the world. That's your safest bet. And it's a pretty good idea to buy at some regular intervals and do some dollar cost average into silver. That way your average price over time might be a little bit cheaper. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available three times a week. And don't forget, we still have our review contest going for the month of June. You can win my Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audios valued at $197. You can win You're Already a Wealth Heiress, Now Think and Act Like One, my book, which was recently added to the Best Wealth Books of All Time by Book Authority, and I'll personalize it for you. Or you might win a wealth mentoring session with me. All you need to do is leave a podcast review on iTunes or Stitcher.com if you're an Android user. That will get your name in the drawing one time. If you leave a book review on Amazon, that will get your name in the drawing a second time. And if you do both, your name goes in the drawing three times. Winners will be announced on the first podcast in July. And don't forget, the whole library of Be Wealthy and Smart is on my website. And there's a search box there where you can enter whatever term you're looking for that you wanna know about, and it'll pull up all the podcasts with that word in the title. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.